Hi guys, how are you? Okay, here in this video, we are going to make this cute little envelope charm keychain thing. <laughs> so I made this for a specific reason. Uh, if you're watching this, then you've already seen my video for the new um, positive affirmation cards. And I said in that video I wanted to create a little something that I could hang from, say, my handbag or my cell phone case and to put a card in to take it with me. The cards are meant to be kept in a bowl or a dish, um, to um, pick one, um, to carry around with you, to encourage positive energy in your life. Um, you can have them as I plan on having them in the entryway to your house and your guests can take one, they can leave one, they can uh, carry it around with them while they're in the house and then put it back in the bowl before they leave. They can take it home with them. Um, but I wanted a little something that I could t have on my bag or my case, my cell phone case. I could, on my way out the door, take it, I could pick a card, and I could put it in and then go. I love this. And it actually, this would fit more than one card. So this is what I came up with. So... <clears throat> I am going to here cut away to actual footage of me making it. So I have a pattern piece that I'm going to scan and I am going to include a link to it in the description below uh, with some sort of written instruction note type thing. <laughs> At this point of filming this, I haven't actually done it yet. So I'll create something for you all. The link will be in the description below. And um, then you're going to take your pattern piece once you've printed it and cut it out and you're going to lay it on top of some fabric or felt. In this case, I used felt. I didn't want anything that was going to unravel. And I cut the piece out of felt and then I marked my notches with a pencil. <clears throat> once I had it cut out, I grabbed some embroidery floss and a um, needle and I blanket stitched the piece together folding the bottom flap up at the notches or at the marks and then blanket stitching the side seams closed and then going up and around the flap and then down the other side to stitch the other side closed. That's your basic envel little envelope and that's the basic stitch. As I was going down the second side, I stopped about halfway down and you'll see me grab a hook uh, out of my jewelry bits 
and stop and, and sew the hook on with the embroidery floss and then keep going. Because remember I said I want to have it hanging off of my keychain or my handbag. Then I went through some other bit jewelry bits and pieces that I have. I pulled out some beads, some jingle bells, some tassels, and I used beading thread to attach them to the other end, other short end of our little envelope, our little fabric envelope. So we're going to start from the inside of the envelope with a knot. We're going to go out, we're going to go back in. I really want to catch that knot. I want to make sure it doesn't pull through. So I'm going to catch that knot and pull it through, knot and pull it through and create a little secure loop, then bring the needle back out the edge of the envelope. Then I'm going to string all my beads on it and at the end a jingle bell. I'm going to go back around the jingle bell and back up through all those beads back into the center of the envelope, catching all those threads that are already on the inside and tying a knot think about what I'm saying and how I'm doing it because you really want to do it and you want to catch those threads. The beading thread or regular sewing thread if that's what you're using is very thin and it's possible that as you're sewing or with time it would pull right out of the felt. So really take some time and get them sewed on here. I sewed one little cross charm from my stash of stuff on there. Um, it just felt right. There's no particular reason. Some of the beads I used are beads from um, rosary making crafts that my grandmother had when she passed away. So that's why these are on here. They have good energy and good mojo. I love the jingle bells. I love the sound of them. I have another thing on my bag that has bells on it. Um, I really love the pot positive energy that I get from listening to the bells. Really love them. So
here. I also decided to include some tassels. The little round metal piece that is under where the snap is, I don't know what that is. It's some kind of token or I don't know what it is. It was in my grandmother's things. So I sewed it on and then I put the snap in the middle. I had one snap. I think it's the only snap I have in my art room. At least I had one. I was going to put Velcro, but I really wanted to snap. Anyway, so then I also put another tassel on the flap, and then it was done. And here we'll cut back to the table, and I really love it. I can't wait to go out and hang it on my handbag. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about how I created the bag, and I will, at the appropriate time, do a slow-mo here of sewing the bead fringe on. I really will zoom in as close as I can and you really need to start from the inside. I'll take that card out. From the inside of the bag, go out one side, go back around and back to into the inside, catch that first knot to create a loop and pull it tight. Then go back out again to the outside, string all your beads on, including the jingle bell, if you're gonna put one. Then go back up through all the beads to the inside of your bag, catching all those other previous threads and tying a knot. Now the one thing I did to this bag after that it was all said and done, is I put some glue on all the knots so that they're really pretty secure. It's going to be hard for them to come undone. Now I can grab a card out of my bowl, which lives on my sacred table, and I can just grab a card at random, one that feels right, and which I did, and put it in here. It happens to be the one that says worthy. and snap it shut and go hang it on my bag and I'm good to go. So that's it. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. I hope you enjoy the process. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, leave them in the, in the, in the comments section of the video. I will, I promise, get back to you. That's it for today. Don't forget to do the most important thing and that's do something nice for you, yourself because you deserve it. Talk about screwing up your own ending line. Holy cow. Don't forget to do the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.